Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for the 30th of June 2021, end of financial year here in Australia. I know it's different around the world but it's kind of fairly apt with this Capricorn energy that we've been dealing with. But yeah, what intent, oh, speaking of which, look who came out, the Queen of Pentacles, our beautiful Capricorn Queen. So yes, looking after yourself and that, and looking after your money, looking after your daily affairs, daily routines, looking after your body, and for long-term benefits is the energy that's coming out with this Queen. So these are all things that I think are kind of coming up or might be on your mind <laughs> as a, a theme today. We'll see what else is coming through. The energy is very intense. It feels like you, uh, it feels a bit like the, I can feel the pressure mounting. There's this, yeah, sense that there's something that needs to be done, but there's, you're caught between a rock and a hard place and you can't quite move. So it's kind of an interesting energy that comes through. I'll turn these up the right way. The Hierophant is coming in. So Taurus energy right next to the Capricorn energy, a lot of earth and grounding. Soul coming in, a lot of messages around this fella here, the Three of Swords, which could be some kind of wound that is coming up to receive some messages to be cleared, uh, sitting right next to the Ace of Wands. So this wound is in a very safe place at this moment in time to come up to be looked at and to maybe enact some very fast changes quick and fast changes and we have the chariot overcoming this overcoming conflict but you're going to be busy with the chariot absolutely a hundred percent you know it, it is don your armor armor it's kind of interesting because it's uh, cancer energy the chariot and it is very much you know uh putting on your hard shell, protecting yourself uh, from this vulnerability. There's a vulnerable energy around with this reading today with that uh, Three of Swords so exposed right there in the centre. And this energy of the Three of Swords can... Uh, it, it's usually related to some kind of wound and it can that can come in all sorts of different forms. I mean, this could be something really old. This is going to be something really big. This could be something as much as, you know, getting bill shock <laughs> or getting a fine you know it can be there's so many different levels to this but either way it's a sense of perhaps feeling like with the cancer energy it is about sharing your feelings looking after yourself how do you do that who's around for support for you and really it's kind of saying um you know, there are supportive energies around here, 100%. All of these energies, besides the Knight of Swords, is very much let's let's make some quick changes. Let's, uh, you know, cut. Let's just uh, take action here. So things could move very quickly. Something could happen that might initially seem like a bit of a setback or a shock. But then when you sit with it for the moment, it is a sense that this is really soul aligned. There's a new energy to step into here. So... It doesn't have to necessarily be a setback or a shock, but this three of swords energy is something has come up to be cleared out so that you can step into the new, this ace of wands, step into something that you really truly want. And sometimes it's like we have to come face to face with the things that are blocking us and stopping us from doing that. And uh, very, very strong messages from your soul, like I mentioned, but it's kind of saying you can do this. This is a safe place for you to uh, be overcoming this. So within, this feels like a little safe container here. This is you in the outside world, the chariot. So you might be going out in the day, uh, got your, your uh an energetic protection on your barriers up you're uh, going out meeting people they don't know you've got that perhaps everyone does it but deep down inside you're dealing with this three of swords energy which is really positive that it's come up to be cleared because when this three of swords it's like a wound comes up to the surface and it needs the element of air for it to it stop festering for it to come up and all the stuff to come out so that therefore it can be cleaned and cleared and uh, can heal. So it's interesting that the Three of Swords is also the element of air. It is a sword. So it is really about... Uh, connecting to that Knight of Swords, which is making some very positive mental shifts about how you are seeing this and seeing this as an opportunity 
for healing, an opportunity to move into something more soul aligned for you rather than something that uh, getting caught up in the drama of some of these feelings or memories or emotions, <laughs> well, feelings, emotions, uh, or any kind of reaction that you might have to this Three of Swords as it come, if it comes up today. Now, this might not be you as well. This could just be everyone's walking around feeling a little bit sensitive today. So you could be walking on eggshells. So people could be having their little melt, meltdowns. They could ha be having their little tanties. They could be, uh, you know, so they could have all sorts of things going on. It just depends on how well they've kind of got their little protective barrier up because you can feel very exposed. And this could be the day where things have come up and out and things are exposed. Uh, and this can be on a bigger level. You know, maybe there's stuff in the news where information has come up and out and is uh, revealing something, something has been exposed, like I said. So ultimately, it comes down to looking after yourself today, uh, really looking at all those self-care systems that you have in place as well as knowing that you have the strength to take on this. Hello, Miss Steli. And uh, really being encouraged just to move past one of these wounding blocks to step into the new. I will also just say is that there's a message here not to hastily move into something. Uh, you might be getting that impetus that uh, to want to uh, really move quickly and it can be quite spontaneous. It can be quite impulsive. And this wound actually could actually be what's spurring this on to be doing this. But it's also a sense that uh, the wound needs to be healed and cared for and cleared before stepping into this. So there's also that energy as well. So just uh, observe where those, if you're getting some impulsive energies where you, you're being pulled to do something or um, kind of erratic to make a quick change, just be observed, sit with that because it's got messages in it for you about where this wound is and where the new direction is. But it might not necessarily, unless this is something that you've been working on for a long time, it might not necessarily be the right thing to make the move quickly and step into this super fast today. So that's kind of the energy that's coming through with this as well. I would just say just one last thing with the Three of Swords is it's nothing to be scared of. Uh, it's actually a very positive energy when it comes up because w if you decide to kind of let it heal and clear, then you're going to feel so much better afterwards. Uh, it does have that opportunity to do that, to bring that in. So take care and I'll see you tomorrow.